All right, I want to show you a couple of uh, tips and techniques working with data sets in Excel. So what do we have here? We have uh, a simple two column data set, county and city. Each county has one or more cities. Each city belongs to one and only one county. Kind of like category versus a subcategory. So first step, I'm going to insert a table might as well. Tables are more and more prominent in Excel, so why not? I'm going to click on Insert. Well, click on the data set first and then Insert, and then Insert the table. So here, Insert tab, Insert table. It's covering right now. So click, and uh, my table has headers. Yes, my table has headers. Click OK. Now, a good practice after you insert a table is to rename it. So I'm going to go to the table design, and instead of table seven or whatever, table one, table two, table three, I'm going to type uh, the name for the table. This is Bay Area, Bay Area, I'll just call it Bay Area, no space, press enter. Now we have a table called Bay Area. All right, now my first uh, task here is to get a list of unique counties, like unique listing of counties. Uh, from my data set. There's a cool function called unique, which is a newer function. And if you are not on the newer version of Excel, then you may not have that function, which is too bad. You can always upgrade and make sure you have it. So I'm going to type equal sign unique. And uh, here's a tip. I want to uh, get unique counties. I'm going to click on the county on any one of them. And I need to select the column, excluding the heading, excluding the county. You can do this by control space. Control space will select the column, but the uh, first time you do it, control space, it will uh, not select the county. If you do it again, control space, then it will include the county, uh, the column heading. I don't want that. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to delete and click control space, select the column, really easy, instead of clicking and dragging. All right, so this is the array. The unique function requires several arguments, a few arguments. The first one is the array. And um, the, um, the second argument is optional. Um, if you want to go by column and exactly once. So actually, in this case, all I'm going to do, I'm going to just close parentheses and hit it like that. So, but immediately there's a couple of things so one is notice that there's a list of things here right so the unique function returns a list and excel uh, since a couple of years ago displays the list unless you have something in the cells where the list should be displayed so if you have something that is preventing the list from being displayed you will get the formula spill error so basically you need some space in order to display the entire list that the formula returns. Also notice that here I have Alameda once and Alameda again, and I have, let's see, uh, let's see, I have Marine, I have Marine, I have San Mateo, and I have um, San Mateo here. So what is going on here? You start investigating. So basically, uh, some of these values in the county column, they actually have extra spaces, you know, they're not just exactly you know the same value but it has some spaces before or after leading or trailing or in between like this san matero uh, is uh, it has spaces in between so how shall we handle it well ideally you have your data set that does not have any of that junk but if you don't have uh, access to a data set like that you can add the trim function to your calculation and you need to put it inside the unique function so first you trim then you look the look at the unique values. So I'm going to put trim uh, and then unique, and I'm going to hit enter. So now I have the unique listing of uh, counties uh, in uh, the Bay Area, and I have them nicely, you know, grouped uh, vertically like that. So now I think, well, how about I put it horizontally? That is easy to do. We can transpose it. There's a function called transpose transpose, and I need to close the parentheses. Each function requires a set of parentheses, open and closed. So, and I'm going to press Control-Enter or Enter. So now I have that unique listing of counties 
that are nicely trimmed and they are unique, listed horizontally like that. So how about I would like to see the list of cities below each one of the county names. Uh, for that purposes, there's another function that will return a list for us, and it is called filter. I'm going to hit equal sign filter. And uh, the filter function requires the array to filter. Uh, what are we going to return, right? So that's what the array you want to return. I'm going to click on the city and control space to select the column of cities. You notice structured references, Bay Area, City. That is because that is a table, right? So I'm working with the table. Comma, so what do I want to include? I want to include whatever is in the county column parallel to the cities. And again, I'm going to do Control Space to select the entire column. Whenever it equals to the value above, I'm using the arrow key to point to the value above, so D1 in this case. And I'm going to close parentheses and press enter. So now I got a unique listing of uh, cities uh, in Alameda County. So we look at the Alameda County, which is a formula, right? This is a formula. It's transposing the unique trimmed values of counties. And this one is referencing the formula, the result of that, uh, and filtering everything, showing me the listing of cities from my data set that belong to the Alameda County. Now, you would think that now uh, all you need to do is copy the uh, formula. And, but here's a strange part. I don't know if it's a, a feature or a bug. So watch me. I'm going to click and drag by the fill handle and copy it. And it is working in some cases. It is not working in other cases. So let's examine that. Like, what is going on here? If you look at the formula here, notice that uh, it is looking at uh, Bay Area County, and it's supposed to look at Bay Area City, and it, it's uh, filtering the city. So it's filtering county by the city instead of uh, filtering cities by the county. Now, if you look at um, uh, if you look at another formula in this one, for example, it is actually correctly filtering cities by the county. I'm not really sure why it's happening. Um, I need to investigate that. But um, basically, instead of uh, using the fill handle to copy the formula in cell D2, all you need to do is copy Control C and then Shift arrow, arrow, arrow to select uh, where you want to paste it, and then Control V to paste it. Right? So now it works properly. Uh, and now we have a unique listing of uh, uh, like the listing of cities by the counties. So it's in basically transposing the data. Aren't they great? Really interesting, uh, interesting uh, functions in Excel that allow you to transpose this data quite easily using formulas. Of course, it's not the only way to do this. There are other approaches, but this is a legitimate approach and it's a very interesting one. And I hope you enjoyed it. So if you liked it, then like it. So I'll see you in the next one.